Hi there, my name is Yuli Rain. I'm a product marketer at Medium, and today I'm gonna to show you how to submit your story to a publication on Medium. After I show you how to submit your story to a publication, I'll get into why I think it's a good idea, especially for new writers on Medium. Okay, let's get into it. I've already taken the liberty of drafting up a little test story to show you how to submit your story to a publication on Medium. Here's my story. Full disclosure, I got a little hungry while I was making this video and it inspired me to write this test story. To submit your story to a publication, go to the top three dots right here and click Submit to Publication. Now, this is the test account, and right now I'm not a writer for any publications on Medium. This tells me to follow a publication to make sure that I can submit to it. I've had a look on Medium, and I think Tastybull is a good fit for my story, a zesty test story, so I'm going to follow that publication. Okay, now that I followed Tastybull, I'm going back to my draft and clicking Submit to Publication again. Now, I now have that as an option to submit to that publication. I can add some topics to help my readers find my story, and then I can submit. Now that my story is submitted to Tastable, the editors over there will be reviewing it to see if it is a good fit and if they have any feedback for my story. Let's go back to my stories. I can see that here are my drafts, it's been submitted to Tastable, and it's currently pending review. I can see all of my submissions here in the submissions folder. When an editor has a chance to review it, they will switch that tag over to in review or edits requested or approved or declined. And I'll be able to see when they took that action as well. It's important to note that not all publications are open to new writers that way. Some of them will prefer that you leave a comment, that you send an email, that you fill out a form. So definitely be sure to carefully read the submission guidelines of every publication you're interested in writing for to find out how they want to review your submission. Once you've already written for a publication on Medium, your outbox will look a little bit different. Let me show you. Here's a test story I can submit to publication, and here I'll see all, this, all the publications where I'm already contributing, I've already published a story with them, and all the publications that are open to submissions that I've already followed, which means that I will be able to submit my story to them. Okay, that's the how to submit a story to a publication. Now let's get into the why and why it's a good idea to do so. Why submit to a publication on Medium? There are three very good reasons. First of all, it means you get to work with an editor. An editor is going to work like another set of eyeballs on your story. Editors on Medium are just regular writers like you uh, who just create a publication of themed stories about that thing that they love. Uh, it can be about life lessons, inspiration, it can be about writing, it can be about nursing. There are lots of different options for publications. When you submit your story to a publication, an editor will review that story and either decide to accept it or reject it. They might have additional feedback for you too on how you can make that story the best fit for their publication. Reason number two, publications can help you avoid niching. Let's say that as a writer, you want to write about inspiration and you want to write about nursing. By using publications, you make sure that your story is reaching that target audience. So even if you've never written about nursing before and all of your followers came to you because they love what you have to say about writing, you can publish in a publication about nursing and make sure that your stories are still going to reach an interested audience. And number three, especially as a new writer on Medium, Looking at my little test profile here, you'll see that I have absolutely zero followers. However, a publication like Namaste Now has over 1,700 followers. When I submit to that publication on Medium, my story has a chance to be shown to all of those followers, even if they don't follow me, even if they've never heard of me in their lives, because I'm piggybacking off of the audience that the publication has already built. Okay, that's how and why you should submit to publications on Medium. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!